Hey, hey, y'all. Welcome back to Candle Pros. My name is Maddox, and I thank you for joining me today. Today is part one of two of my huge, huge, huge Candle Day 2023 haul. So this is part one of two. I have three right here, or you can't see. I This is also an empty bag. So I have four Candle Day bags, but here I have... Oh, you can see it sticking up a little bit here. I have three candle crates with no space left in them for my haul part two. This first haul is going to be um, a little bit smaller because um, I gave a few candles away as gifts. So probably should have done this haul before I did that, but that's okay. So my first, let's just, we're getting to get right into it. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and then, yeah. So this one has a really, really, really cool lid. This one is the infamous, the famous Vanilla Bean Noel. I have actually never um, had, this is kind of scratched here. We'll see how that goes. It's kind of scratched down. Anyway, Vanilla Bean Noel this year is green wax. I love the packaging on this too. It's really, really, really nice. One thing I wish Bath and Body Works did with all their candles is um, like Homework says, is just wrap around packaging. It just makes it look so more, um, so much more immersive. And yeah, after this, I have to fill my other candle day haul, a Kringle candle haul. And I've had that Kringle can for like two months now. I have burned a few of them. And my wax melt empties, which the basket is overflowing literally here. Um, but yeah, so Vanilla Bean Noel. It's just a nice vanilla scent with like that. And it doesn't, I don't really get coffee from this. So let's read the scent notes Um, before I do that. The, this year's Candle Day, all candles were $9.95. This is my first ever Candle Day participating. Um... And yeah, so let's just get right into this scent. It's fresh vanilla bean, marshmallow fluff, vanilla cake. That's what I'm getting. I'm getting that kind of like vanilla marshmallow, but it's it's like what it says. It's like there you can just tell when it's marshmallow and fluffy marshmallow. Like there, you can just tell. It's like unexplainable, but you can just tell. So yeah, I definitely do get that vanilla bean in here, but also that fluffy marshmallow. But yes, the wicks are really thick, so we'll see how that is going to burn. But yeah, so that is a vanilla bean Noel. Next one we have is the infamous, famous, these wicks are actually kind of thin, so that's good. I like thinner wicks because they burn easier, like it's not going to like take a long time. This one is nice lid as well. Hot cocoa and cream, once again, not a wraparound packaging, but I like how it's kind of like a banner style. Um, brown wax, which is amazing. These wicks are awfully close to the side. We'll see how that's going to work. But anyway, hot cocoa cream is so good. Um, scent notes are decadent milk chocolate, fresh steamed milk, and mini marshmallows. All I get in here is that marshmallow and chocolate. I get heavy chocolate. So, that's why I like hot cocoa and cream. It's like a really strong candle. This is my second hot cocoa and cream. Um... Let me know down in the comments if y'all, if any of these candles stick out to y'all, but some of these they actually only release for candle day, like the body care candles and special um, uh, collections, which I have um, a little bit of a collection in my next haul, but gosh, this smells so good. So there's that. And then next one we have in this crate, gosh, y'all, this one's really good. All these candles I have showed y'all so far is amazing. This one is white wax. The wicks are actually super thin. So that's probably going to be a fast burner. This one is fresh balsam. Love the actual white like, color of the jar. It's really cool. Fresh balsam. Scent notes on fresh balsam are woodland balsam, crisp eucalyptus, fir branches, and cedar wood. I get that heavy pine note. So if you're not a pine person, definitely don't pick up this candle. But you can go and if you only shop online with Bath & Body Works, trust your gut. Um, but... If you like our shopaholic in store like I am, um, definitely smell this one. If you don't like pine scents, I really don't think you'll like this fresh balsam. But it is sweetened up a little bit with that eucalyptus. But it is very it's still very heavy on that um fur. Um so yeah, that's candle crate number one. There were only three in there, but this crate is full. If you can see. So, there are three of the same candles in here. So, let's just start off with those I got. Actually, I'll tell you the story behind this one. Paris Cafe. This is my first time ever having a Paris Cafe. It smells really good. So, story time on this one. 
before I read the set notes. Um, I had originally gotten three, like I have here. Well, I opened, and I only checked one, unfortunately. So I opened one, and the wicks were gone. One of the wicks were, like, not there. And then it was coming out of the jar. Like, it was literally, it literally fell out. And I was like, okay, great. So a few hours later, I went to another store and said, hey, this candle's, like, weird. The wick is not there. It's coming out of the candle. Or the wax is coming out of the jar. So can I please, like, get a different one? She's like, yeah, of course. So Chris Cafe is probably one of my favorite candles right now. Love the smell of it. Paris Cafe has sent us a rich roasted coffee, sugared brochet, and vanilla cream. Literally, the only thing I get in here, besides a little bit of the roasted coffee, is the is the bread. Brochet is bread, I think. And this scent is like, you just walked into like a bread factory. So, I honestly love it, and I want to see how it performs to see if I get it next candle day. Um, but yes, three of those. So, here are the other two. This lid... There we go. See, so yeah, ooh, that one smells sweeter. Anyway, okay, so that one smells sweeter. Um, next candle, we're getting into like the ooh. I feel like I could almost taste that. Next candle, or the next three candles we have are kind of summer ones. I was only gonna get like the fall winter scents, and I was like, you know, this is the best time to stock up on every season, because it's like candle day is only one time a year, and that's in the winter, December. Um. But I was like, it might, it's just a good time to stock up on all year round candles. Like, even though I love fall and winter mostly, like, if I don't stock up on fall winter candles, I'm going to have to pay full price for $14.95 for them in the summer. No, thank you. Or sass. This one feels like I can almost taste it. This one is pineapple mango. And another reason why um, I haven't done this haul yet is because just, like, get my memory freshened up and, like, be like, oh, I forgot I had this one. So, yes, pineapple mango. It's not yellow wax. It's white. A jar trip, yeah. This one is a fresh pineapple clean scent. Fresh pine fresh pineapple juice, mango, vine ripened berry. Vine ripened raspberry. I only get that like sweet mango. It's like it's like a sweet pine sorry, sweet pineapple. But the other reason I think it's I, I it's kind of tangy to me. It's because I usually don't go for mango scents, but this one is actually really, really, really good. So yes, I get that the pineapple is overpowering the mango, um, but you still get that little bit tangy mango scent in the background. So yes, that one smells really good. Let me let my dog in. Come on, come on, girls. Sorry about that, y'all. Come on, hurry, go. Come on. All right, anyway, sorry about that intermission. But my dog is smelling all my candles. Oh, this one is honestly kind of cloney. Um, once again, not pink wax like it shows. Memphis, no, no. This is so frustrating. Sorry, y'all. She just moved the camera. Memphis, no. Good. Sorry, y'all. She's stepping on everything. Memphis, go. Oh my god, this is ridiculous. Memphis, go. She's gonna destroy something in the. Pro oh, she didn't. This one is pink pineapple. Punch. This one smells really good. Pink apple punch, my bad. This one is really good. Um, pink apple punch has sent notes of crisp apples, sun-kissed melon, and sugar crystals. And I do get that sugar crystals, but that apple really does come through. It actually smells like a legit apple when you cut open. That's actually kind of weird. I, I never had an apple scent that actually literally matches when you cut open an apple. So yes, that smells really good. Um, nine minutes. This is the last candle we have here. This one actually smells like laundry. This one is the perfect spring. Love the packaging. Wish they would have done a wrap around on it, but you know, Bath and Body Works, they really don't do that. Um, sorry if you can hear my dog panting. She's like right there on the bed. Um, spring air, fresh grass, apple blossoms. I really don't get any. Um, at this point, he knows what grass smells like. I think they're just throwing scent notes in at this point to fill it up. But I do get, like, that apple, but it's fresh. It's honestly kind of, the wicks are really thick. This wax is actually kind of green, even though it shows up. Anyway, I honestly get laundry from this. Like, it's really just laundry to me. It's like a crisp fresh it's like that you get that hint of apple but otherwise it's just laundry all the way 
So, yeah, that's my take on um, spray. But, yes, that is all for this Candle Day haul. Part one. If y'all enjoyed, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and all of that. Have a good day, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye, guys.